well-spaced uh, tilts, well-spaced aerials. Uh, we'll see if my man BYOD can mix things up and uh, catch him in maybe a different play style than what he usually sees with Maple out in Ottawa. So we got game one on Battlefield. Very large stage. Um, I like it for both characters. But it is rather big. Don't know how Kirby's going to do uh, with this wide of a stage. We'll see if he plays a role. Like I said, man, Spyro loving to just absolutely play the spacing game with whoever he has to. UYOD throwing out the Ferris as an approach option. Let's see how far it takes him. Ooh, gets the down tilt to get him to fall, but no conversion off. Ooh, and this is the bane of any fast fallers existence against Kirby. If you get hit by into the up tilt vortex at early percents, you're gonna eat a lot of damage. They got so many different strings and combos they can do. We're seeing it right now. Saw the damage, nothing crazy. Only 38%. It feels like it would have been more, but it is what it is. It's a short hop fair. Oh, oh my goodness. Barely missing the tipper. He's really pushing and landing that, to be honest. So I was kind of surprised it did not work. And again, we're seeing the trend that I was talking about earlier. Kirby being out space, that's not anything new, man. Uh oh, we got something happening here. Gets the grab. Again, Greninja at like a mid percent kind of okay. Was not able to get anything out of that continuation. Spiral's got uh, BYOD at 122%, but my man, despite being a little pink, uh, excuse me, a little green puff of uh, whatever he is, he's he's been eating his Wheaties, man. He's surviving. Oh, gets the pivot grab into the up throw. That was a really, really good pivot grab. Did not expect it to come out, but Battlefield, man, large ceiling. He won't die that early to the up throw yet, despite it being uh, one of the better up throws in the game. BYOD on ledge, trying to get a trip with the down tilt, it looks like. This is the conundrum with Kirby, man. Like, what do you do if you can't get in? It's tough. Gets the pivot grab this time, and that will lead to the stop. Again, Greninja having one of the stronger up throws in the game. Kirby being light, it is a recipe for disaster if you get caught in it at a high percent. So. 72% on Spyro right now. It's also worth noting Greninja does have a very solid recovery. So even if Kirby manages to get the down to uh, the down air off stage, seeing Greninja's come back from that, a pretty ludicrous percents to be honest. Uh oh, oh, he was a little bit too far. I see Kirby's often when they do get the uh, fall with the down tilt, follow it up with like a forward smash. It's a little bit out of that range. Spiral sacking on the damage. Lands with the, uh, the good old block of truth, I like to call it. Uh oh. Shuriken doing a good uh, job sending BYOD off. Oh. Is he going to get a platform here? He will. Good DI though. I think it's pretty obvious as hell that Spiral's trying to get that pivot grab even now. He's, really, he's approaching with the dash and turning around grabbing, so... BYOD's got to be cognizant of that, man. He's died to it before. Wisely dodging the fair. Man, this is... Spiral putting on a good showcase, man. Showing us how to space in this matchup so well. Again, like, it doesn't come to me as a shot. He plays... I think that's going to do it. Yeah, and I will do it. The last hit of that shuriken getting the job done. Um... It's a conundrum, man. Kirby in the metagame is an interesting character, but this is, this is I gotta say, it does look like a rough matchup. I, mean, I know that Spyro's told me in the past Greninja solved the wins, but man, that looked rough for BYOD. He's gonna have to, I, this might sound crazy, but he might have to approach, he might have to uh, take a, a more straightforward approach, man. I like to see more Tomahawks get in there with Kirby. I know it's hard, but he's gonna have to disrupt the spacing of Spyro and how comfortable Spyro is because he's, Moving freely back and forth, getting pivot grabs, doing what he wants on the stage. And that's got to change if uh, BYOD wants to win this. Game 2 is going to be on Smash Bros. Another stage that Spiral does not mind. Let's see if BYOD can change things up a little bit. Right? Alright, we got something here. Oh, gets the dare. Gets the dare again. Gets the dare one more time. Oh, unfortunately, he's not able to get a fourth one. That would have been crazy, though. If he was to get four dares in a row, I, I don't know what I would have thought, truth be told. Um, gets the pivot grab. We've seen the pivot grab be such an like, uh, instrumental tool for Spiral in the matchup so far. Oh, my God. He's got to watch out, man. 
Oh, Spyro going for the hard read. Assuming he would land in front of him. Loaded up a forward smash. Did not work. But there. That's going to do it. That's definitely going to do it. Again, it looked like Spyro got the down tilt into Tipper up smash with Greninja. Excuse me. Strong spot up smash with Greninja. Uh, and it is a true combo on a lot of different characters, if not all. So. He killed stupidly early, too. I think he was at about 70% or something before he died. So <laughs> Spyro only at 42% now. I'm not gonna lie, right now he's uh, running away with this man, looking like Golden State versus uh, Cleveland last year in the finals or something, man. He's running away with this, uh, with this set. We are seeing uh, BYOD have a lot of trouble get in. Uh, man, this is crazy. Gets the bear. Oh, weak hit of the down smash. I like it so far. What do we got? Oh, he reacted just a second late. I don't even blame him because Greninja has a really weird, like, fall speed and air acceleration situation where when he lands in front of you, you think what he did is punishable, but a second too late from BYOD. And I mean, I want to say he's doing better than last game, but... Oh, and he does get the forward smash. Now we'll do it. So 69% right now on BYOD. Oh, I gets the trip. The fair, again, if you're a fast follower playing against Kirby, you have to watch out for that kind of stuff. Spyro looks like he's become uh, totally aware of the situation. And just as I say that, though, BYOD bringing it back. It's only a 24% deficit currently. Oh, man, went for the hard read. Enough. <laughs> Speaking of reads. So just like that, we have a game. BYOD finding his groove, man. Gets the grab. He's totally, like, just turned everything on. He's in some sort of a zone or something, man. Shout out to uh, shout out to being in the zone because he brought this back so fast. Oh, Spyro got to watch out. Being off stage against Kirby is not a good look. Looked like uh, UIOE was at preemptively looking for a roll there. Spyro, oh, oh, I feel like he might have been able to get the, I think it's the up throw. But the down throw regardless, whichever one goes up on the platform. Had he waited, or I don't know if he was aware of it, it was going right over him. Don't know if it would have killed, but it might have. BYOD has turned things around quite well. Oh my god. Spyro trying to get the anti airs out. That, oh my god, this is crazy because both characters are trying to get some sort of confirm going. We got BYOD using the down air and Spyro. Oh, looks for the pivot grab there, and it might actually do it on Smash Roll. I hate to say it, but that. Oh, is that gonna do it? Oh my god. <laughs> so Spyro is going to throw out a slightly charged Shuriken, and that's going to do it. And 2-0 for the man of the Spyro. I'm not